Uh, good morning, dear participants. Uh, my name is Hikmet Sume. I'm a uh, research researcher in Mersin University at Educational Faculty. So, first of all, I'd like to thank you to uh, the conference team to accept our study to this nice conference. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about an Erasmus project that we almost finished in the next month, I think. And in my presentation, I'll introduce the proposed objectives and outputs and the results of our project. Um, I'm going to talk about the purpose of the project, the objectives, the partners, the outputs, and the results of our project. Let, let me start. If you have any question, uh, I will be grateful if you ask your questions at the end of the presentation. Um, Hikmet, uh, we do not see you changing the slides. Can you maybe try again uh, with the sharing function? Thank you. Okay, now it's changing, but it's not full screen. So oh, just, tr okay. just try again Yeah, from um, the same button. Thank you. Now I did it in full screen. Can you see it now? We can see the slide, but it's not uh, full screen. Oh, okay. But uh, but it's visible, so perhaps you can go ahead. Thank you. And and could you please, other ones, the turn off the cameras, please. So I'm trying to get it bigger. Okay. Uh, the project name is Science e Robot. Um, it focuses on the integration of education robotics to scientific learning teaching process. It is an Erasmus project, and the project focuses on the relationship between core competencies and scientific literacy, and also 21st century core competencies, including um, critical thinking, problem solving, creativity, communication, and collaboration skills. Um, the purpose of our project was to increase the quality of education by integrating technology into the learning and teaching process and to improve scientific literacy within the consortium by contributing to the development of basic competencies and by integrating education robotic technology into scientific learning and teaching process. And also um, the objectives, uh, the other objective is developing an innovative science teaching learning strategy compatible with the educational context of the partner countries. Uh, so uh, we prepared three intellectual outputs for it. Um, the other objectives is increasing knowledge and skills of self-participated from partner organizations on different teaching models, measurement and evaluation techniques, and also robotic methods in interdisciplinary science teaching. And also we aim to improve the knowledge skills of science teachers, especially preserved science teachers and experts from organizing activities. Um, we propose developing basic competence and scientific literacy of 10 to 17 age group students to educational robotics applications. And also uh, we aim to develop long-term innovative cooperation between, between our partners. Yeah, we have uh, partners from um, Turkey, Italy, Portugal, Germany, and Romania. Uh, our project includes three transnational project meetings to short-term staff training and five dissemination activities, as you can see in the pictures. Uh, we have uh, important, three important intellectual outputs in this project. Uh, the first one is open education resource, uh, which includes e-workbook. And the second one is practical methodological guidelines for robotic assisted science teaching. And the third one is comprehensive measurement and evaluation toolkit. I want to explain these outputs in detail. So um, I start with e-workbook. The e-workbook is a very important output for us, for our project, because uh, it's pedagogically compatible with the target group age levels, and it's improved the creativity and critical thinking of the student. And it can be easily implemented by teacher, teachers and students. And it improves the basic competencies of teachers and students and has been adapted to various scientific subject areas with different teaching models. It provides positive attitude towards science and includes learning and teaching scenarios for individuals. And it is non-commercial, it can be edible and shared and free of charge. It can be easily accessed by logging in the project website. 
and uh, for at least five years the domain will be purchased can be easily access the resource wherever the internet is available and the platform is produced within the scope of the project activities and uh, it's dynamic personalized uh, teaching learning methods user convenience influence innovative science activities with robotics content and it contains some related activities in different languages you can also uh, see the link of the e-work with platform you can reach this platform and uh, please um, search it and let us know um, our positive and negative uh, let us know your uh, positive your positive and negative aspects uh, i want to explain uh, the e-work with platform uh, a bit more because it is very important uh, the e-work with platform uh, in e-work book platform you can select um, let us show here. You can select with different filters uh, the activities based on different teaching learning models, uh, 21st century skills, and also include different subjects and teams based on sustainable development goals. The activities were prepared by project team and evaluated by the teachers and then uploaded to eWorkbook e platform. And each partner translate the activities in their own language. So uh, when you enter an e-workbook, you can select the filter to find the related activities. You can select the learning models, the skills, the team, and the discipline as well. Um, and then you reach the activities. Uh, it's, as I said before, some related activities in different languages. Uh, we, can, we have also many activities uh, like this one. Um, based on engineering design process, inquired by inquired based learning, project based learning, and, and problem based learning as well. Uh, yes, these are uh, this is our um, plat in this our platform. When you and uh, when you reach the activity, you can see the lesson plan, um, the pictures, the videos as well. So it is for it's beneficial for the teachers, I think. We have also second output, which uh, is methodological guide for implementation. And it helps overcome the obstacles to gain students' acquisition of scientific team and subject areas determined by the partners. Uh, it is a practical guide for the project partners and prepared in English. It describes the application of robotic science activities with various modern teaching models and it provides guidance in the use of open educational resource as well. The third output is comprehensive assessment and evaluation tool set. It tests robotic supported science learning activities and provide guidance on assessing their strengths and weakness. Before starting the project, we applied a survey to the teachers and to the students um, to get their opinions about robotics educational educational technology in their lessons. And so I want to explain a bit more about these uh, results. The results obtained from the teachers uh, through the survey, the survey um, evaluated the students' uh, attitudes towards science subjects and educational technologies and teachers' tendency to teach scientific subjects and teachers' competencies in using different teaching models with ICT and instructional technologies in teaching scientific subjects. The results obtained from the teachers show that most of the teachers have internet connection, computer laboratory, interactive whiteboard at their school, and also compute, they have computers. And um, most of the teachers are using educational technology in their lessons. Uh, Almost half of them uh, use internet for developing lesson plans and online collaboration tools. Uh, many of them uh, use computers. Some of them use apps for tablets, active boards, uh, mobile devices, tablets and iPads, and assistive technology tools daily. And some of them use educational games, social media uh, presentations, digital, digital video cameras, and web design weekly and uh, some of them use test preparations and learning management systems monthly. And um, more than half of the teachers can use internet for developing lessons and can use online collaboration tools. 
and some of them use apps for tablets, uh, educational games, test preparation platforms, and assistive technology tools very well. And more than half of the teachers use computer in class in the classroom, use presentations, some of them use active board, and uh, some of them use learning management system, uh, mobile devices, some programs, and web 2.0 teaching tools very well. And few of them uh, can use web design satisfactorily. However, uh, half of the teachers never use robotic kits, and some of them uh, can't use, cannot use robotic kits. When we evaluate the, um, determine the ways robotics taught in school, we found that teachers use robotics kits mostly after school programs, in computer lessons or to support other lessons. Um, more than half of the teachers never use education robotics in their lessons, and some of them had used robotics in their lessons. Um, more than half of the teachers had not attended any seminars on education robotics, and some of the teachers had attended seminars related to construction, structure, and functions of educational robotics. And some of them are unfamiliar with robotics education, they have no ex experience with robotics technologies. And some of them aware that robotics exists but have not used. Uh, they emphasize that there are any issues about the prospects of using robotics. And they are sometimes frustrated using robotics and they lack confidence when using them. So these results, um, considering these results, we prepared um, to do this project. And so we prepared many activities um, that in integrate um, science subjects and robotics educational together. And when we look at the subjects teachers use with robotics or instructional uh, technology, we found that um, teachers taught context by using robotics are computer science, mathematics, physics, and earth science and biology, respectively. And when we look at the uh, teaching methods they use in their lessons, we found that half of the teachers prefer inquiry-based learning and problem-based learning. They also use uh, project-based learning, lecture, lecture, uh, computer-based learning, and design-based learning as well. We can also see uh, these results in this table. And um, considering their perceptions, most of the teachers not integrate technology in their lessons. Uh, some of them integrate robotics kits, computers, 3D modeling in their classrooms, and significant number of participants no experience using robotics in their lessons. Just few of them have experienced. On the other hand, teachers have positive opinions related to educational robotics, and a significant number of teachers emphasize the importance of in-service education in order to employ robotics in schools. And they thought that robotics have positive effects on students' communication skills, digital competence, cooperative working, and creative thinking. And they have opinion that robotics increase interest towards science. They have also opinion that robotics make students acquire skills and increase their motivation. Um, Hello, Pigmet, apologies for interrupting. You have one minute remaining. Thank oh, you. Oh, really? Okay. Okay, I want to show you the post results of our project. Um, we want teachers to... Um, to search our e-workbook and um, search our web, and um, we will let them um, to read the activities and uh, we get their opinions about our activities. As you can see in this table, they thought that activities are helpful and they meet their expectations, can be implemented easily, include innovative features. And they, most of them thought that activities are an effective tool for science learning and teaching, and they are suitable for using science lessons and um, activities being an innovative approach to science teaching and are aimed to, at developing higher order thinking skills. And teachers agreed that by using robotic tools on the e-workbook platform, they can reach science subjects. Um, they pointed the e uh, work platform um, they thought that materials are helpful and supportive. And resources and additional materials help them understand the content. 
and they have also suggestions about the e-work group they uh, want a video to explain e-work group use and they can thought they thought that um, it can be add some media resources and some images for the app and new events okay many thanks for your attention sorry sorry about the time